the dedication of the Cathedral Church of the Most Holy Savior, at Rome, 324, Pope Sylvester I, Rome. The rites whereof the Church of Rome maketh use for the hallowing of churches and altars were first instituted by the blessed Pope Sylvester. From the very time of the Apostles there had been places set apart for God, where assemblies took place upon the first day of every week, and where the Christians were used to pray, to hear the word of God, and to receive the Eucharist, which places were by some called oratories and by others churches. But these places were not dedicated with so solemn a form, nor did they set up therein an altar for a pillar, and pour chrism thereon, for a figure of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is himself our altar, our victim, and our priest. But when the Emperor Constantine had by the sacrament of baptism received health both of body and soul, then first in a law by him published was it allowed to the Christians throughout the whole world to build churches to the which holy building he exhorted them by his example as well as by his decree. He dedicated in his own Lateran palace a church to the Savior, and built hard by it a cathedral in the name of St. John the Baptist, upon the place where he had been baptized by Holy Sylvester and cleansed from his leprosy. This cathedral was hallowed by the said Pope upon the ninth day of November. It is this consecration the memory whereof is still celebrated upon this day, the first whereon the public consecration of a church ever took place in Rome, and the image of the Savior was seen by the Roman people painted upon the wall. The blessed Sylvester afterwards decreed, when he was consecrating the altar of the Prince of the Apostles, that altars were thenceforward to be made of stone only, but notwithstanding this the Lateran Cathedral hath the altar made of wood, this is not surprising. From St. Peter to Sylvester the Popes had not been able, by reason of persecutions, to abide fixedly in one place, and they celebrated the holy liturgy in cellars, in burying places, in the houses of godly persons, or wherever need drave them, upon a wooden altar made like an empty box. When peace was given to the church, holy Sylvester took this box, and to do honor to the Prince of the Apostles, who is said to have offered sacrifice thereon, and to the other popes who thereon had been used to execute the mystery even unto that time, set it in the first church, even the Lateran, and ordained that no one but the Bishop of Rome should celebrate the liturgy thereon for all time coming. The original Lateran Cathedral, cast down and destroyed by fires, pillage, and earthquakes, and renewed by the constant care of the popes, was at last rebuilt afresh, and solemnly consecrated by Pope Benedict XIII, a friar preacher, upon the 28th day of April, in the year 1726, the memory of which festival he ordained to be kept upon this day. In the year 1884 Leo XIII took in hand a work which had received the sanction of his predecessor Pius IX. The Great Sanctuary, the walls of which were giving way with age, was lengthened and widened, a task of immense labor. The ancient mosaic had been renewed previously in several places. It was now restored according to the original design, and transferred to the new apse, the embellishment of which was carried out with great magnificence. The transept was redecorated, and its ceiling and woodwork repaired. A sacristy, a residence for the canons, and a portico connecting with the baptistry of Constantine, were added to the existing buildings. O Ramus! O God, who dost every year bring round unto us again the day whereon this thine holy temple was hallowed and bringest us again in soundness of body and mind to be present at thine holy worship, graciously hear the supplications of thy people and grant that whosoever shall come into this thine house to ask good at thine hand may be rejoiced in the obtaining of all his request. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.